Hello guys, welcome back to my kitchen. If this is your first time here, you're welcome. My name is Sissi Emi and today we're going to be making seafood pepper soup. I have fish pepper soup, turkey pepper soup, goat meat pepper soup, and what again? Chicken pepper soup, turkey, have I said that? <laughs> I have all sorts on my channel, but I don't think I have seafood pepper soup and I thought today was going to be the perfect day to show you guys how to make it, especially as the weather over here has been dry, hot, cold, chilly, people are wearing sweaters but they are sweating, see the, the weather is just one kind, Hamatan is in full force. This morning was really really cold and the first thing that came to my mind was pepper soup. So we're going to be making my seafood pepper soup. In this bowl, I have onion, ginger, red scotch bonnet, and yellow scotch bonnet. You see that yellow scotch bonnet? It is a banger. You do not want to miss it. It gives your pepper soup or even your Nigerian soups a unique flavor that you cannot find anywhere else. So make sure you do not skip the yellow pepper. This is my pepper soup spice. It's a mix of different pepper soup spices. I've done a video about how I mix my pepper soup spice so you can go and check out my old pepper soup videos. You'll find a way to make pepper soup spice. Next I have some stockfish fillets. You can add it at the beginning of the pepper soup process just to give the broth a richer taste. When I was growing up I absolutely hated the smell of stockfish but as I grew older I realized that you need it to give some Nigerian foods the depth that they require so if you can add it then add it next I have crayfish I have the small crayfish and I have the big crayfish that have the heads of the crayfish in them don't discard the head we're going to blend everything together the head of shrimp or prawns has a lot more flavor than the body so you need everything this fish is the star of this dish. You guys, this is called Ejaoso. I used it to make seafood okra the other day. You can go check that out. The texture of this fish is just amazing. And I can see why they call it the king of fishes because it is just so good. It tastes a bit like barracuda fish and red snapper. And I just really like how silky and smooth it is when you're just having it in this pepper soup. So if you can find this good, but there are other fishes you can use. It's just that this one is perfect. Next we have uyayak. This is something we use for ofen sala. I like to use it in my pepper soups as well. For deeper flavor, you can roast it before putting it in your pepper soup. And when I say roast, I mean just put it on an open flame for a few seconds till you start to perceive its distinct aroma. It smells so good. We are not going to put the whole thing, we're just going to put a little bit of it in a pepper soup. Next is scent leaf. This is what we're going to put at the end of the pepper soup to give it flavor. Also, we have some seafood mix. I have prawns, calamari, shrimp, and just a bit of things that you can find in the sea. I got a seafood bag mix, so we'll be using it for the pepper soup. Also, we have some crabs. You know this is seafood pepper soup. Anything you can find in the ocean, including shark, <laughs> you can put in your seafood pepper soup. I'll start by doing a rough blend of my peppers and onion and the crayfish. Add a bit of water and just give that a good blend. It's just going to be a rough mix. Next, we're going to pour that into the pot. Add some more water because it is pepper soup after all so we need a bit of that soup. I'm adding the stockfish also and then I'll add the uyayak to just add the flavor from the beginning. Next I'm going to pour in the pepper soup spice 
and then we're going to start by putting the fishes so we're adding our agile song i got this agile song from waterside fisheries i'm going to put their link in the description box they sell agile song frozen and they sell it you know roasted you can get it from them next i'm seasoning with some salt and fish stock powder i'm just going to mix everything and then come back and add some more fishes so i want these spices to enter all of the fish i'm also going to add the crabs you guys making fish pepper soup does not take long which is why i like it so much especially if guests come around you can just make it in less than 15 minutes fish should not be cooked for more than 10 to 12 minutes it's that fast so make sure you do not overcook your fish If you've been enjoying my recipes and you want more exclusive recipes from me, go to the description box and download my cookbooks. I have cookbooks that have over 30 Nigerian soups, stews and sauces. I also have my festive cookbook which is great for entertainment. You will absolutely love them. My books are also available on Amazon so you can check them out. But if you want one that you can download to your phone so that you can just quickly check the recipes, then go to the link in my description box to download my e-cookbooks. Now I'm adding the shrimps and the prawns last because we're almost at the end stage of this pepper soup recipe. So now I've added it, I'm just going to add a bit more water and we're going to mix everything. You guys, the broth tastes so good because of all the different flavors of fish and seafood that we have in here. Now I'm adding the scent leaf and then turning off the cooker because residual heat is what we'll use to cook the rest of the vegetables. It doesn't need to boil, just allow it, you know, simmer away. And then we're going to serve. Our pepper soup is ready. I'm just going to serve some pepper soup for myself because pepper soup is best enjoyed hot <laughs> so if you guys try this recipe and you love it don't forget to tag me on social media i love to read responses from you guys just to see how well you are doing with the recipes if you're watching and you're not yet subscribed click the subscribe button for those of you who are subscribed but you did not turn on the bell notification please do so so that you are notified every time i upload a video thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video merry christmas and a happy new year